there's five advanced to YouTube analytics hacks that experts use that you probably don't. Which are the reasons why their videos get millions of views and perhaps you struggle to do the same. Knowing how the YouTube algorithm chooses which types of videos to promote is the key to making videos that get millions of views. A huge YouTuber in my study group that gets millions of views himself showed me this mistake that small YouTubers normally make. He told me that small YouTubers make the mistake of looking too much at how many views here that their old videos have got when they're trying to understand which topics the YouTube algorithm usually promotes them for. So instead of looking at this column and seeing how many views his old videos got here, he instead looks over here at this column and he sees how many impressions his old videos got. And that's because a video's impression shows us how many people the YouTube algorithm decided to promote that video to. Whereas views is just a representation of how many of those people we convinced to click on that video when they saw it. So impression shows us how the algorithm works, whereas view shows us how good we are at convincing people to click our videos. And by finding the videos that have the highest amount of impressions, we can then see what topics those videos were on and then know which topics the YouTube algorithm is gonna push out to a wider group of people for us in the future. So the first YouTube analytics hack that that expert uses is instead of looking at views over here, he instead looks at impressions in this column here. That YouTuber also warned me that by checking analytics data too far in the past, say across the last 365 days, we run the risk of finding topics that the YouTube algorithm promoted say a year ago, but isn't promoting anymore. Another mistake he warned me small YouTubers make is they check their impressions data within too small of a window, say the last seven days, or the last 28 days, which isn't enough time to get serious sample data to find good topics. So the next hack he uses to get more reliable impressions data is he checks his data within the last 90 days. That's a big enough window for him to collect enough impressions data for him to make informed decisions on which topics to create more videos within. But he's not looking so far back into the past that the findings are useless. So to find your channel's impressions data for the last 90 days, simply click on advanced mode in the top right corner of your analytics screen, click this box here and select 90 days, then scroll down to find the impressions column and click on impressions to source it from highest to lowest. And then by simply looking over to the left, you'll see the names of the videos that have the highest amount of impressions in that 90 day period. But there is a problem with checking your channel's impressions data from the last 90 days. And thankfully, I've got Mr. Beast's YouTube strategist to thank for helping me realize this. And for you to understand this problem, I need to quickly explain to you how the YouTube algorithm works. Every time that you release a new video on your channel, that video immediately gets a spike in impressions. Then after a couple of days, the impressions for that latest video falls off. And what you're left with in that 90 day period is a series of spikes and impressions for every new video that you released across those 90 days. And that's a problem, isn't it? Can, can you see how? Well, how are we going to know which topics the YouTube algorithm is favoring, you know, and giving us the highest levels of promotion if our impressions data is altered by these short term spikes of new releases within that 90 day window? Well, there's a hack that experts use to filter out videos that were released in the last 90 days so that their impressions data from the last 90 days isn't altered by those newest release videos. So they just click on, click up here and filter when they've got their impressions data up for the last 90 days, head down to publish date, and by going right to the start of your channel, so for me, May 2016, and then down to today's date, but minus three months, so it's March now, I'm gonna go back to mid-December 2022 and selecting that, they're choosing to only see videos that were released outside of the last 90 days so that their impressions data that you'll see down here in this column isn't compromised by the spikes of impressions any video released in the last 90 days would have got. Okay, let's just slow down and just take stock because we've covered a lot so far. Let's remind ourselves of the three YouTube analytics hacks that we've covered so far. First off, we've got checking impressions over views. And this shows us exactly which topics the YouTube algorithm decides to promote us out more for. The second hack is experts just check impressions data for the last 90 days. That's the best window of time you can check data for. And the third hack is they filter out any of the new releases that happened in the last 90 days to get the best quality data possible. But it's also really useful for us to be able to spot which of our newest videos are getting far higher promotion 
on YouTube than usual, so that we can double down on that success and create new videos within those topics. One of the huge YouTubers from within my Facebook group that gets hundreds of thousands of views per video told me that as well as checking the data from his old videos, he never forgets to check what's happening with his newest releases. He said that by finding high performing new videos, it allows us to double down on that success. So the analytics hack he uses to do that is he clicks up into advanced mode again in YouTube analytics, and then he clicks up here in compare to, and then he clicks down here on first 24 hours video performance. And then by clicking over here into impressions, so you can see which of his videos got the highest amount of impressions in the first 24 hours after they went live on his channel. But if we look over here, we can see that the period is set for the first 24 hours. But the problem is new videos get their initial buzz and impressions for much longer than the first 24 hours. So what he does to solve that is he actually looks at a video's performance in the first seven days. So he clicks that option. And now you can see in purple, the videos that got the highest amount of impressions in the last 90 days. So you're able to see what topics those videos were within and make more videos on those topics in the future. But one last problem with that is if we look up here, we can see that we're getting shown data for every video that was made in the last, what's that, 10 months. But we're only looking for the newest videos that came up in the last 90 days to make up for that gap in our data that we were checking before. So I'm just gonna choose here the last three months. So let's say, what's, so I need December 22nd to today, which is March 22nd, press apply. And now if I scroll down, in addition to the old data that we were getting from the previous methods, I can now see which of the videos that were released in the last 90 days got the highest amount of impressions in the first week that they were on my channel. I can then look at the topics that those videos were within and make more videos on those topics. I've missed golden opportunities on this channel by never checking the data for my most recent videos like I just showed you. I'm never going to do that again for my channel or for any of my clients' channels. I'd recommend that you always check this data too. Now that we know how the experts figure out how to get their videos promoted to more people, without knowing how to get people to click those videos when they see them, we're not going to get any more views. By watching the massive YouTuber friends in my network, I know that the only way to get better at getting people to click your videos is by studying the right data in your analytics. So make sure to watch this video next to see exactly which data the experts obsess over to get more clicks, to learn the other piece of the important puzzle of getting more views on YouTube.